Oh, and before we focus on the header, let's go ahead to our index.html file. And just before the closing head tag, we're going to add our font awesome uh, link rel right here because uh, Balma does use font awesome for the icons. All right, so let's go back to our app component.html. So here we have our header, and then we'll also have our footer. So let's focus on the header and also making it work. So uh, I'm going to paste in from uh, the HTML that we've been using throughout this course for the header portion of the site. So simply paste in right here, hit control B just to give us a little bit more room. And this is what I have pasted in. So again, you can access this all from the uh, project files, which will have, you know, just uh, a folder that says like just basic HTML and you can copy this as needed and paste it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. All right, and you may have to run ng-serve or stop your ng-serve uh, if you haven't yet and rerun it. So hit control C, Y to stop and then uh, run ng-serve again. And the uh, it, this is what yours should look like at this point. Um, so let's also add the CSS that we have been working with as well to customize it based on our needs. So let's go back here and bring back uh, control B for the sidebar. And we have our app component SAS file. So the very first thing is we're going to import our mq.sass or our media query SAS file up at the top like that. And then I'm just going to paste in uh, the rule sets that we created back in the view section of the port, the uh, course here. So again, this is using the SAS styling. So there's no uh, semicolons and all that stuff. All right, so we'll save that. And there we go. Cool, so now if we uh, if it goes in, we'll see it doesn't work. So let's make it work by cap capturing a click event and also set up, setting up a class binding here in Angular. So to do that, let's go back to our component HTML and we have our span class of nav hyphen hyphen toggle. So we have to do event binding and set up a click event. So the way you do that in Angular here is to wrap the event that you want to capture, which is a click in parentheses equals, and we're going to put in toggle nav, which is the property we will define in the component class equals not toggle nav. All right, and then we do class binding through an ng class directive ng class wrap that in brackets equals and inside of here we put an object with is hyphen active which is a class that has to be added and this is based on balma a balma class so if it's added to this then it changes this hamburger icon menu into an x so that people can close out of it on mobile versions uh, and we bind it to the state of toggle nav whether it's true or false so if it's true it adds is active if it's false it won't be added All right so just like this is how you close that out and then also we're going to copy ng class this whole thing right here and paste it onto this div class which is responsible for showing or hiding our menu which has these items right here all right, so also another thing that I, I pasted in is this router link right here. So over the router link, these two links right here, we didn't set up pages for, so I didn't add anything. But router link is how you actually set it up. You don't use href uh, with, with the path name, uh, otherwise it won't work. So you just use router link equals and then the path. So this is our home component and then this is our fac path right here. All right. Good, so let's save that. We're not done yet. We have to go back to the actual app component. So control B sidebar, app component. And in our app component, all we have to do, let's get rid of this title, we don't need it anymore, is just create a toggle nav, and we set it to false. That's it. So we'll save. We'll go back to our project, drag it in so we can see, and watch it animate, a little, little micro animation there with our X and there we go. Awesome. Let's also do our footer real quick. By the way, I, I personally just like the, the coding structure. Um, if we're comparing Angular versus React, 
just this right here, what it, what it took or the amount of coding it took just to create that click effect um, compared to like React, for instance. I don't know, it's just a personal preference. Definitely less coding. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and focus on the footer as well. So just down here is where our footer HTML is going to go. So the footer HTML, fairly simple. I'm gonna copy and paste that in right here. If you want to pause and just follow along I, and go ahead, you can go ahead and do and type it out by hand or just open up the project files and paste it in as well. Um, again, nothing really serious is happening here. There's nothing, uh, you know, we're not capturing click events or we're not passing in data anyhow. It's just static HTML. So when you do that, this is what it looks like. So we have our homeworks in FACWorks. Awesome. All right, great. So uh, in the next section, we're going to focus on the home HTML.